Hi, my name is Meredy and this is Dr. Neil. Hi. Hi. And we're coming to you today from Sydney, Australia, the headquarters of N Squared, which is a worldwide software company. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about education and technology. So Dr. Neil, um, what kind of technology is out there that can be used for kind of a cross-curricular type um, building of, of um, educational materials? Yeah, and I think this is an interesting one because more and more over, you know, the research into what makes good education and what you can do to really encourage students to pull the knowledge they learn from different places together um, shows that activities that involve cross-discipline um, I guess elements mm -hmm. will uh, will help those students understand things. So, um, and, and it's I guess to some degree not surprising that if you get someone that's really interested in history, for example, if in order to understand something about history, they have to use some math or they have to use, you know, they have to use something from other disciplines like understand some geography as to why something occurred in history mm -hmm. but history is their core fascination mm -hmm. then you can start using that and I guess if you think about you know what is it that it takes to create a real you know cross-discipline um, strength in a student you know the, the goal is to create I guess a kind of polymath someone that has skills in lots of disciplines and, and can dip their toe into different areas and is interested in doing and fascinated by doing mm -hmm. so and, and is encouraged to do so. And so some of the things we've been doing with tools like Assemblio uh, enable us to build very reusable elements that can be put into activities. So for example, one of the examples we've been building recently is um, tools for measuring and using geometry for measuring distances and angles and those kind of things and then we can apply those and we can bring those tools into a history lesson to determine you know how big was Napoleon's empire when he first came into when he was first coronated how big was it you know after he had invaded a whole bunch of countries and what was the size difference and now they're applying geometry and they're applying math to a history lesson and yet their fascination may be with history um, and then we bring up maps and then they start thinking about geography and they start thinking about routes that Napoleon has to march through. And so they're starting to engage in different disciplines while still being attracted into that one thing. So I guess one of the things we've been working a lot on is how do we A, build very reusable components mm -hmm. for learning that can be then put into rich learning environments um, and used in, you know, different subjects, different subject matter. Um, and Semblio has been pretty useful in enabling us to do that. Uh, and then, you know, is Semblio powerful enough to enable us to do things on different platforms like Surface, like Windows 7 Multi-Touch, like Multipoint. And so that's the other thing we've been doing is building these activities so they're ready and, and they work now with Semblio. They work, you know, the Semblio activities work with Windows 7 Multi-Touch they work with Surface and they work with multiple mice plugged in with Multipoint. So doing that kind of thing then gives us this base set of really interesting elements that we can push into different subject matter activities. Um, yeah, I think the technology is uh, enhancing our ability to create these cross-topic learning activities. So, yeah, it's good. That's great. Yeah, Assembly was very exciting. We've been doing a lot of work with that here yeah. at N Squared. Yeah. And, um, well, I guess that should wrap it up for today. Yeah, Unless thanks. you have anything else to say. No, that's good. All right, great. Well, have a great day, everybody. Thanks.